sick of love songs. I'm tired of this. And I wanna taste straight just like it is. You're watching me like you want me, but you're still holding back, still holding back. Honestly, you're annoying me with the way that you keep. Playing. Hey, friends, and welcome back to today's video. Today, I'm going to be sharing a brand new 2022 solo evening routine. It has been a minute since I've done one of these, so I'm really excited to do something a little bit different. Don't worry, there is still a lot of cleaning motivation. A lot of the times I prep myself for the next day by doing some last minute cleaning around the house before I end my day. But one of the things that I love to do before I settle in for the night is to enjoy a cup of decaf coffee or a cup of hot tea. So I would like to thank Maestri House for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I'm really excited to share this milk frother with you all because I've been really enjoying it. It's super high end, but super affordable. It's like the Mercedes Benz of milk frothers. And I have owned quite a few of these over my years of drinking coffee. So I'm really excited to start working this one into my morning and evening routines. Today I'm just going to be making a decaf cappuccino style drink and I am using almond milk but I will say this frother works best with um, like a heavy whipping cream or a heavy cream or a regular milk. It will work with oat milk and almond but it, you'll get a much denser even froth when you use real milk. But my little Colton is allergic so we only have almond milk in this house but I promise you it still turns out delicious and you still get a really nice froth which you guys will see here in just a minute. So I just put some of the almond milk into the stainless steel milk jug and then I even added a teaspoon of vanilla syrup to it to give it a little bit of sweetness. And I'm going to be brewing a decaf Starbucks K-cup tonight. And this combination was so delicious. I even add a little bit of pumpkin spice seasoning on top. This sleek screen here on the front of the milk frother is where you're going to set your temperature if you want a warm froth. It can go from 120 to 140 to 160. I'm gonna go with the 160 because I am drinking a nice hot cappuccino style drink. But it also can do a cold froth for you when you want to enjoy your iced coffees. And then you can also set your milk density. So it'll go from a low, medium to high froth. I went with the high density milk froth tonight because I like a nice thick foam. And here you guys will see how beautiful this came out. It is like a pillowy cloud and tasted just as delicious as it looks. The whisk inside this machine is also really neat because it's multifunctional. So you can adjust it for when you're making like lattes or cappuccinos or even hot chocolate. So even if you are not a coffee person, you can even use this milk frother to make delicious hot chocolate right at home. All right, this is my first time using this milk frother. And so of course I wanted to try it, I'm so excited. There's nothing better than just like a nice thick foam on top of your coffee. And then I added a little bit of the pumpkin spice seasoning and then I just did a regular Starbucks decaf coffee. So let's give it a shot. Oh my God, okay, so that foam is absolutely perfect. I love how I had a thicker layer of foam on top because I used the almond milk. If you want a full thick foam all the way through, it's best to use real cow milk, but since we don't have that in our house, Colton has allergies, we only have almond milk, so this is kind of like a healthier twist to making your foam. So good, as you guys saw, I added in that little bit of vanilla and then the pumpkin spice on top. And this seriously tastes amazing. The foam is like a cloud. It is so creamy, 
and thick. It's like a dessert, it's absolutely delicious. So if you guys are watching this, that means that I love the milk frother and I wanted to share it with you all. So I will have everything for this milk frother linked down below in the description box for you guys if you want to check it out. And if they offer me a discount code, I will also share that down below for you guys. But definitely a two thumbs up, five stars for this May Street milk frother. I can tell it's going to be a regular thing in my household, especially since I'm trying, one of my goals this year was to go out to eat less and that, that includes even grabbing coffees. So I know when I am craving those cold foam or foam coffees, like maybe like a latte or a cappuccino or like a macchiato, this will help curb that craving. So I'm so excited to now have this in my house. So thank you again so much to Maestri for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Alexa, play chill electronic music. Now that I've got my cup of cozy, I can go ahead and start on my evening routine. I don't know about you guys, but even when I'm cleaning, I love to have something good to drink for some reason. It just makes it a lot more pleasant. Let me know if you guys are the same down below. So I'm so happy I have my cup of coffee that I can enjoy while I go through this routine. I'm gonna start by cleaning up the table. I serve the boys orange chicken and then a vegetable fried rice for dinner. And so there was some rice all over the table. So I wanted to go ahead and get that all cleaned up and wiped off. I also need to put away these boxes and my brand new Cricut Explore 3. I'm going to be doing some projects with this in an upcoming video. So make sure you guys stick around for that. I have some really cute ideas that I can make with this brand new Cricut and I cannot wait to show them with you. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and then I need to finish wiping down this table from dinner. Being a mom can be a lot of work. Being a parent can be a lot of work and it comes with a lot of challenges, but it also comes with a lot of reward. As you can see, it's just the little things when Colton came up and gave me a little snuggle, it just made it all worth it. And I just wanted to tell you all, you are doing a really good job. I know sometimes we can feel like we fail as parents and it can be very, very challenging. So I just want to let you know that you are not alone. I mess up, I make mistakes, I yell sometimes and then I feel bad, but that is just a part of parenting and we're kind of learning as we go. There's no instruction manual and no one really warns you about the hard parts of being a parent. And especially if you're doing it solo, like I am tonight, my husband was stuck at work and I didn't have anyone to help me with homework and bath time and getting dinner served and cleaned up and having quality time with the boys. So I just want to let you know that you're doing a good job and none of us are perfect. an important part of my nighttime routine is getting the dishes done before I go to bed and running my dishwasher that way I can start the next day with an empty sink and I can load the dishwasher as I go because the next morning which I'll try and do a updated morning routine for you guys I love to run my dishwasher at night and then unload it in the morning and that just helps my sink not get too full and overwhelmed which causes my mind to get overwhelmed. So that is definitely a huge part of my routine is trying to end the day with an empty sink and start the morning with an empty dishwasher. So let me know if you guys do that as well down below and I will be done with dishes for the night. So it is safe to go ahead and scrub out this sink for the day. I 
everything is Next, it's time to go ahead and wipe off my counters using my Love Meg Multi Surface Spray. The kitchen is clean and closed for the night, so I'm gonna grab the towels that I have here in the dryer so I can head upstairs because I wanna get these folded and put away before I end the day. And when I go upstairs, I also wanna throw on some fresh sheets for the night. It's always so rewarding to climb into the bed at the end of the night into fresh sheets. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like calling. But it's too late now. I just miss you. I would love your feedback on today's video. I know it's a little bit different than my usual upbeat, fast-paced, speed cleaning style videos, but it feels really good to just mix it up and be creative and share just different parts of my day with you all. So I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Please let me know down below in the comments or you can even just give this video a thumbs up. I am super curious if you guys also thrive on routines. It definitely helps keep our household together and keep the boys on a schedule, especially when we are in school. We know exactly when dinner is and bath time, PJs, teeth, and when it's time to turn out the lights. And then it also gives me a little bit of relief because the boys already kind of know what to do at night. So it helps me out a ton. But I'm curious if you guys also have routines in your home. We have a pretty solid nail down morning routine to get out the door for school and it helps a ton. It goes pretty smooth and same time with our nighttime routine. I swear it just takes so much stress off of my plate.
A goal of mine is to get at least one load of laundry washed, dried, folded, and put away just to help take the stress of a family of four laundry off my plate. We do have a pool and we use our spa year round, so I feel like I have extra laundry and extra towels um, that just pile up super fast. So having this routine to catch up with laundry and towels and sheets and everything seems to help a lot so on this night particularly i did a load of towels so i'm going to sit down and put on a show a lot of the times i will catch up on my youtube channels kind of like you guys are watching right now and it just kind of helps ease my mind and know i'm not alone in this journey of trying to keep a household together so just a little tip i try and end my day with an empty laundry basket and an empty sink The traveling kind, it's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. And with a little bit of editing magic, I'm gonna send off my two little munchkins to take a shower and brush their teeth. And it is finally bedtime, so I got them all tucked in, gave them a kiss goodnight, and now it's time for me to finally sit down for the evening. I crave this part of my day every single day. This night in particular, I was watching some Disney vlogging videos. I love Fresh Baked here on YouTube. It's a local YouTube channel here for my Disneyland. I'm gonna give Ruger some cuddles and then settle in for the night. So thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to check out Maestry House. I will have a link down below in the comments for you guys to go check it out and snatch up one of these amazing milk frothers for yourself. Also, hit that like button. It helps out my channel a ton if you could. Also, consider subscribing before you leave today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Could wear a blindfold no matter